As we come together today, I invite everyone to join me in setting our intention for not only this time we spend together today, but for the coming year. And I would have to suggest that if there's one characteristic that is more important than all others when it comes to our spiritual growth, I would suggest curiosity. There's an ancient myth that it was the curiosity of human beings that would eventually assure their success in discovering the presence within. And I believe it is this desire to inquire, to ask why, that is probably the greatest gift the divine has given to us. It would ensure that we would find it resting quietly at the center of our being. We recognize then that there is this thing in the universe, this something we call God, we call first cause, we call the essence, we call the nature, we call the power, we may call it mind, spirit, but whatever it is, it is there. It is that which is beyond thoughts, but from which thoughts come. Beyond words, but from which words come. Our curiosity, our desire to know, to ask why, keeps pushing us to look for it, to experience it to a greater degree. Meister Eckhart said, God is like the child who's playing hide and seek and clears its throat so that we might find it. It is there, it is here, it is everywhere present. But we must discover it. And curiosity prods us on our way. The divine love has created us out of itself and left us alone to make that discovery as this was necessary for us to express an individualized life. But in so leaving us alone, it didn't abandon us. It is all about, it has left clues and signs everywhere. And all we must do <clears throat> is be curious and ask and seek. Knock and the door shall be opened. Seek and ye shall find. So today we accept for ourselves and for each and every other person a stirring in curiosity that leads us on the path that is appropriate for us to discover the spiritual magnificence that is within. We have all we need. We use it. We are grateful to know there's a power in the universe that responds to us according to our belief. 
and this treatment is for the purpose of setting in motion that power to produce a greater opening in our consciousness. That we might more fully desire to know it. Augustine says, we would not have the desire to pray if God had not first put it in our heart. Plato tells us that nature does not mock its own creation. God would not give us the desire to know it if it were not possible for us to do so. So we release this treatment to that perfect law, knowing it creates that opening in our consciousness through which we not only desire to know God more fully, more freely, more completely, but we actually do. We release this treatment to that perfect law so certain it is done that we say together, and so it is.